Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a couple of days now with uh, with Coach Wilson. Uh, I know you have pro overseas as well, so you have a unique perspective of having two very established NHL head coaches <laughs> coaching you. What's it like now with Coach Wilson? Just take us through the, the look and feel out there with him. Yeah, he's definitely uh, a more laid back guy. Um, you know, pretty relaxed. Doesn't uh, you know say too much, but uh, you know when he talks, he obviously uh, gets his point across. Laid back. <laughs> He's known for being a fiery guy too. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I don't know. So far, he's he's been pretty laid back with us, and uh, you know, just you know, doesn't say too much. But uh, like I said, when he says something, uh, you know, everybody's listening. But how much is all this professional being around professional coaches and being in a professional league? How much is that helping you? Yeah, I think it's been a you know, it's been pretty cool. I mean, just to get their their experiences. They've uh, you know, having Crow, he's obviously coached uh, you know a lot of great players as well as Coach Wilson. So you know, having them and, and learning from them has been a pretty neat experience. What about the game itself over there? What have you learned about yourself? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been great. It's been a big challenge. Um, you know, it's a great league. It's uh, you know highly skilled, and it's definitely forced me to elevate my game. We have a coach uh, who he has said he li is giving something back to USA Hockey because USA Hockey's done so much for him. When you have Coach Wilson doing that, what kind of message does that send to the players? Oh, I mean, I think it's uh, you know he takes a lot of pride in, in being an American. I think that's the, the biggest thing. You know, wearing the USA logo is obviously a big honor. So for him to come back here and and uh, you know, want to coach this team. Obviously, uh, you know he's a winner, and, and he wants to win. You and Sonny uh, exchanging Christmas slips there at the end. Yeah, I just uh, just messing around a little bit. Uh, we're goofing around, got a tune-up level, but uh, it's all good now. So, <laughs> how does that line feel? It's the second day that you guys are together with Debrinket and Kachuk. How is that feeling for you? Yeah, it feels great. I mean, um, they're obviously two uh, great players, and uh, you know, I think the second day we've uh, you know really developed some more chemistry and. Uh, you know, hopefully, you continue to get better and better each practice. How do you see the team chemistry building throughout this camp so far? Yeah, I think it's been great so far. I mean, I think all five lines that are out there have really gelled pretty well, and and uh, been creating a lot of opportunities for each other. What would you say is the identity of this team? Yeah, I think we're you know a fast, uh, you know, great skating team, highly skilled. Um, you know, we have uh, some smaller players, obviously, but um, you know, I think we're a really highly skilled team. You obviously have a lot of things to do before you get to the draft. What are some of the things you want to show people as you head into your draft? You yeah, I mean, I think I just want to continue to get better and better each day. I mean, obviously, this is a big tournament, and, uh, you know, it's, it's huge. So, uh, you know, we want to come out of here with, uh, with a gold medal. There's no other option for us. What's the biggest thing you took away from participation in last year's tournament um, going into to this year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, you can't take any team lightly. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Uh, every team's going to show up, and, uh, you know, especially being in the U.S., uh, they're going to give you their best game. Every in terms year. of development, Austin, are you pretty happy with the choice to play with men in Europe? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I've been learning a lot uh, with Coach Crawford and just you know learning a lot about myself over there, and and uh, you know just continuing to get better and, and elevate my game to the next level. Every year, there's a few guys who are heading into the draft who get a lot of attention. Obviously, last year was Jack and Connor. Did you watch what happened last year, and do you feel any of the same thing? Yeah, I mean, I watched Jack pretty closely. Um, I mean, I know him pretty well. Uh, you know, I roomed with him last year at the tournament and. Um, obviously, he had a lot of pressure on him, but uh, just the way he handled it, uh, you know, he just blocked it out and, and played his game, and, and you know, was focused on himself and, and the team. Have you talked to him about it? About yeah, I've talked to him a couple times this year. Um, you know, not you know, just briefly. Uh, you know, just about how our seasons were going, and, and uh, you know, just kept kept it to that. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.